So I have this little uh, dual zone and uh, triple zone AVR touch sensor thing. It's just a little AT Tiny 24 uh, with a little crystal on it. I'm actually not using the crystal, it's still running at 8 megahertz. And uh, exactly one resistor for each one of the five channels on this board, two channels for this long slider, and three channels for this little uh, spin wheel touch sensitive thingamabobber. And I'm doing this entirely in software and just trying to see if I can get dual zone functionality on the AVR. So, I've written some software here that boots it up. Oh, I'm also using the, um, the tiny ISP as a sort of printf. So I have some software here that boots up and uh, resets it and causes it to actually recalibrate. As you can see, I'm getting the raw data down here. Um, uh, the, uh, the data, so if I press real hard, get a high value. Release, nothing so hard. Oop, low. And that's channel two. Channel one is down here. As you can see, I'm changing it at different values. Over here, you can see the uh, the output. So if I just have this board hanging out in free space, not doing anything, mind you, it's so thin that it's picking up stuff on the back. This is a capacitive touch sensor. If I press up here, I get a very good reading. As I roll my finger on down, you can see that the number continues to go south until it reaches the other end. So that actually does work. The other interesting one is this little spin wheel thing here. So as soon as I lock on, you can actually start kind of tracking where my finger is. And I can spin my finger around and around that way to turn down the number. And around and around and around can start incrementing the number by going this way. You can see that it's pretty stable. It knows where my finger is pretty darn well. Okay, well that's just a demonstration of my dual zone AVR touch sensitive stuff. Uh, I can post a blog on this if anybody wants to. Uh, just kind of give you a heads up how to do it. Real simple and uh, real easy. This uh, PCB here is just printed at home and uh, just have some tape on top. That's about all you really need. Okay, thanks.